Hi guys, Dennis here. And I'm Revocat. Today there's an awesome EGL tournament going on. It's called the Boom Series Cup. Let me tell you about it a little bit. So the 32 teams all started playing together at 15 GMT. And now there are only two remaining. It's SWAT and Prof Butchert. It's enemy SWAT and Prof Butchert. So, they are competing for a prize pool of 150 euros. And the tournament is hosted by our good friends, uh, the European Gaming League. And we decided to host the finals. So, guys, we're doing the best of five. And uh, they will be competing for the prize pool of 150 euros, as my friend said. Yes. And also there will be a giveaway on Twitch later. So, please read the chat to know the details and follow us. Yes, you're very welcome here. We're really glad that you're watching us. If you want to get, take part in the giveaway, go to Twitch. You can find the link uh, in the post and come here and we'll soon be starting. So, the first match, what are you expecting from it? Well, I really hope that there will be five full matches, very intense, like the last time. I'm really, I'm really, I mean, no, I'm really scared always <laughs> in this situation because what if, and I know Prof and SWAT are both Excellent teams. But I'm really scared. What if somebody goes 3-0? Well, let's hope that this will not happen. What if there's just, you know, like a crushing feeling of, I thought I'm gonna see a really thrilling thing here, and it's just 3-0 complete crush. But I hope it doesn't happen. I bet it won't happen. I really think that these guys can stand for themselves. They can beat each other up like professionals. So, uh, well, let's just say so. Uh, Loopy Lou, we all know Loopy Lou from Prof. Oh, yeah. and I, I hope so. Loopy Lou is very good, and uh, SWAT is the Ukrainian team who showed themselves to be extremely powerful. Interestingly, both teams had two different teams participating in this tournament, so both SWAT and Prof had two different teams named Prof and SWAT competing. So it seems like they have even an abundance of good players. And What's interesting, they both made it to semi-finals. They both made it to semi-finals, so we, we could have seen <laughs> a very interesting match of Prof versus Prof or SWAT versus SWAT. <laughs> they just dominated the entire tournament. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I, I, think, I think that's good. I think that uh, they, ha they having an excessive skill is actually great. So, uh, what kinds of maps and game modes we're going to expect on this turn? So, this is going across the whole board. We're going, they, we have uh, control points, we have King of the Hill, we have mm -hmm. Team Deathmatch. Some of my favorite maps are going to be played today. Uh, for example, so my favorite, my most favorite, like visually, map is the Saloon. And it's going to be, I think, the, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be the third match today. It's going to be the Saloon. Mm -hmm. And I prefer the Tropical Island, also King of the Hill. There will not be Tropical Island today, I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm very uh, sad about that, but... <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it's okay. I think uh, the, the other thing is that we're going to show it in our new spectator mode that you mm. probably some of you already seen uh, last week when we were doing uh, another cast of the EGL tournament uh, last week. But uh, this time around we're going to showcase it fully where you can change different camera angles and you can watch anybody you want, learn all sorts of information about them. Well, yeah, you also had some time to check it out in the game because we... Uh, downloaded this note into our latest update, 3.1. Did you tell people what they can win in the giveaway, though? Oh, not yet. No, you didn't. Okay, yeah. So, you in the giveaway, you will be able to win 5 grenade launchers and 10 customization cases. No, you should do it a little more like... 5 grenade launchers! Okay, okay, guys. <laughs> Let's, we'll be starting now, we'll stop teasing you. Let's go Butchered versus Anime, who is going to win? Let's see. Let's see. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Almost. At there. any second. At any second now. <laughs> We're gonna start at any second now. I'll finish it. So, five grenade launchers or ten customization cases. Ten customization cases. And we're starting. Butcher Prof versus Enemy Swan. Go. <laughs> no, no, not go. Does it have a remote? <laughs> it does have a remote. Sorry. It's okay, okay. Let, just. Just uh, let's play with the spinner for a little bit. Guys, just a small small delay, small delay here. It's really... We'll start in like 20 seconds. Like in 20 seconds it'll start. But check it out, we have really cool things here. The cow. Actually, this is, this, is, this is an actual revolver spinner. I'm like, nice, my favorite one. <laughs> I think we're starting. 
think we're starting the game. I hope we are. <laughs> Who are you betting on? Well, for I know it's that's not good. <laughs> Just who do you think? Prof. You're thinking prof. Okay, hey, go go guys. Let's let's start. I won't be this immoral. Let's go. Oh, it's starting. Okay. Okay, that's great. So, the, so the first map is Adria. And let's see, it's control points, and we can see already that Prof is taking all three points. What happened there? It's already 170 to 103. Bobby just decimated YouTube enemy, uh, a, a lot of the enemy team. Just, just uh, so Prof has all the points. Under attack. Right yeah, and the uh, enemy isn't just uh, isn't even trying to win them the back. I think. Points C. Or are they well, just utterly dominated by Prof right now? Well, I wouldn't say that. You, you can see the point C is already taken back. So Bobby in the center, uh, killed by enemy. So the entirety of the enemy team uh, is in the center right now, and they're doing a really good job of holding, or oh, actually capturing point, point B. B is under you see, attack. Uh, control points in general, but especially Atrium. If you take the center the point, you point have B. all of the uh, all of the possibilities to take other points too. They're extremely difficult to hold down, but if you can, you can wipe the entirety of the opponent's team and then launch attacks as you please, which is exactly the thing that SWAT is doing right now to take back the initiative. So, can we have a top-down? Oh, we attack. already have it. So, uh, I think there's a hidden battle near the point A right now. Yeah, hidden battle near point A, and you can see that SWAT was yeah, behind just now, a. but they managed to all group up in the center, take it back, and from there, after the team wipe, they are launching attacks, and you can see the point A goes to them, and they have already a point lead. Well, I'm really curious who will win in this battle because the team are really Point going two to two. So the chances chances are pretty even. It's really interesting. Uh, in in the normal gameplay, uh, control points are considered to be less, you know, uh, less able to come back on. So because it's very difficult to take the back all three points. Point but as uh, as you see Point here a right now, if we talk about professional, you know, like if attack. we talk about professional. Uh, Esports athletes, they can just, uh, they can uh, really t use teamwork point to a take back attack. all three. And Prof is trying to do the same thing. They're already attacking point B and point, point C. C. Okay. The enemy capture, so, point B, uh, the best player of the game right now is Bobby, with I think, with nine, uh, 192 points. Bobby's showing to be really good here. You can see that Bobby's basically carrying uh, the Prof attack. team right now. And uh, the SWAT team is, uh, there's a... Uh, better Point distribution of attack. points across everyone. There's only 30 points in between them and this the game, I can't even tell who is, is going B, to go captured. to. It, it's very intense. I'm, I'm really like... The game is getting even closer. You see, it's like 20 points. Only 20 points. So it's now it's one point. Two points. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is insane. So 1200 Point points C, will be captured. the win. Prof is taking it back. Uh, both teams have to point have B one point to find it for another one, but no, no, actually the Prof has one. All other points are being contested, and it seems like the win will go to Prof this captured. time around. Bo Bobby completely dominated everyone, 274 points. Just 10 points to go. Three. This is done. <laughs> this is done. Okay. Okay, so we <laughs> have, so this was, this was very interesting. Let's think about what we got in the first match. Easy. It wasn't an easy win at all. Let's look at the points here. So you can see that uh, most of the SWAT team they did basically the same. They were all very good. And when it comes to Prof, it's a different picture. Yeah, Bobby clearly dominated the uh, team. He just earned most of the points, got most kills. So he basically carried them. So it's butchered one to enemy zero right now. But I don't feel like with this score, I don't at all feel like it's going to be one-sided right now. I, I really have no idea right now who is going to win. I really hope that we're going to get that five matches. Okay, okay so uh, right now it's Butcher 1 and Enemy 0. And we're, going, we're soon going to, be, to go to the second battle. So what are, you, what, are you, what are your feelings right now about this whole thing? Well, I'm very excited actually because this is the kind of battle I was hoping for because it was really intense. The teams are pretty even like in their strength and I wasn't sure who's, go who's gonna win. I, I, feel, I feel kind of doubtful, I don't know. So you see, uh, I'd like to think who was the better team players and the better team players seems to me like they were SWAT in mm. a way that Bobby was like was a really amazing like solo playing it all. He was like dominating and dominating and dominating but 
when it came to profs uh, team play it seemed like some some teammates uh, did a worse job than others and usually control points are won by the team with the most team play so i'm not so sure what to think right now but I think the next battle will probably show us what's going on because the next one will be Team Deathmatch, if I remember mm -hmm. correctly. Uh, and we'll see what strengths uh, the teams really have. Well, yeah. Uh, I um, really love Team Deathmatch because uh, I think it's more like pure skill, you know? Like, uh, it uh, all depends on your mastery with your weapons and on your tactics. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's pure skill. Uh, I, I'd say, you, you mean like it's pure weapon... Uh, yes. Your pure, pure like group battle skill. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. That actually uh, it all hinges on how well you do with your weapons of choice and uh, work with your teammates to dominate the other team. So a lot of people have team deathmatch as their favorite mode. It's uh, basically it's the first one and it's an all-time favorite. But the truth is I think it's due to the fact that team deathmatch is the easiest. So when you look, uh, you can you can use uh, any sort of formation or tactics that you want. Uh, in control points, it forces you to split your team if you want to work efficiently. It's very hard to move as an entire group. Mm. But when you play team deathmatch, uh, just uh, having a sniper, just somebody to be a sniper all the time, having a shotgun, a shotgunner, and a couple of guys with assault rifles or a machine gun, you can have any sort of formation you want, and you can roll with it all the time. It's actually better if you mm. have a clear tactic in your mind and you always move as a unit. So it's more about the distribution of roles uh, in the team, uh, as you're seeing right now. Yes, yes, that's true, because you, you don't have to make as many decisions. But let's go into the second match and see who is right here. Let, let's see who is actually, uh, will come up on top here. Well, yeah. Okay, the game has already started. We can see Loopy Lou's back. It's 0-0 right now. Okay. So, is the skyscrapers, I think? And yeah, it's the skyscrapers. As I said, you can see that Prof is all grouping up and SWAT is doing the same thing. <laughs> okay. It's exactly, oh, the Dragon Warrior costume is just, it's just amazing with the dragon mask here. So, nobody has taken the first blood yet. Nobody has taken the first blood. Uh, you, as you can probably see, so sometimes, like, uh, we, we would see previously, Karina would go for the first blood, but here it's all group on group battle. It's wall to wall. I think I feel like both teams are really cautious right now, after because they found out their strengths in the first battle, and now they try to like um, not to mess up. <laughs> you can see, Bobby is, is a, a lot more cautious here, uh, so he's doing a, a lot less just uh, solo going up against everyone. But he's really good at avoiding damage. He saw an entire group of enemies, and he almost managed to flank kill. Uh, one of them. So there's only. It seems like it seems like SWAT is winning. And yeah, so I just said wanted to say there's only eight point difference, but now they widen it quite a bit. Okay, so it's interesting that the battle isn't in the center as it usually is on this map, and it's uh, moved kind of to the periphery of this map. Yeah, the center, the center of uh, the center of the skyscrapers is usually just a bloodbath, and everybody yeah. goes there. <laughs> But it seems like uh, both SWAT and Prof taken a liking to this particular area with the staircase, uh, which is also a very important part of the skyscrapers map. Oh, somebody is going to the somebody is going to the center finally here. Hatshot. So it's two on two, and it seems like SWAT. No, there's there's three people now there. Uh, as you can see, it's a bad idea actually to move in pairs because uh, on skyscrapers you are always open from all sides unless you go into the center. And if you go into the center, then you're blindsided by some people with shotguns. You should always have like four pairs of eyes looking in every direction when you move on this map. Yeah, so uh, I think that the battle moved <laughs> uh, right after we jinxed it. Like, it moved to the center. Uh, Prof versus SWAT. It's, uh, it's incredibly close, and somebody just made a grenade kill, I think. It's 255 to 255. <laughs> are you kidding this me? Is an entire, this is a draw. It seems <laughs> like they really are evenly matched. Oh, gosh. I kind of I, wish SWAT to win this one, because I wanted to go one-to-one. -one. Huh. Well, I, I agree. Actually, uh... And they heard me. <laughs> they heard me, and they started winning. <laughs> yeah, the equilibrium is broken now. Medusa Enemy just got a triple kill. Yes. Who, who did? Medusa Enemy. Medusa Enemy didn't... Uh, do as much on previous maps since uh, and is not even on the best score, but getting a triple kill in this tight a situation is very difficult. So, uh, oh, nice crack grenade. So, the crack <laughs> grenade, kill, look, look, kill with the crack grenade. A lot of actually grenade kills, which is quite 
uh, unusual, I'd say, in this situation. I, so. I think that Optimus just did a double kill with the grenade, actually. That was awesome. So, and they are back. They are back ahead now. It's three hundred forty-eight to three hundred forty-three. I can't even tell what's <laughs> going to happen anymore. <laughs> Who's the best player, actually? Uh, I think right now it's uh, Bustry Enemy from okay. SWAT. So it's Bustry. Uh, interesting. So well, they seem to have a lot more points, and they and they actually do. It just kills. It just it was a team wipe by Bustry. Just killed. Made a double kill. It was a team wipe for Prof, and they were almost winning again. And now they have to take back 50 points. Yeah, I must say that I love that both teams are really uh, working together. So, uh, I mean, uh, they are always grouping. They are always trying to stay together uh, to avoid splitting up on this yeah, map. But, uh, in this situation, SWAT uh, team is damaged. So if they feed the entirety of their team, then yeah, that, that's exactly what happened, as I was saying. Yeah, it, yeah they just uh, they uh, fed up. It was a triple kill by Microp here. Huh. So, uh, can we have a top-down view of the map, please? Yes, okay, so, uh, my group is almost dead, and the uh, prof team is all battered, so if they don't have any way to heal back here, they might just give uh, SWAT the points that they need to push to victory. Okay, I still think that prof can get back from this uh, score. They've got 20 seconds left, but I believe in them. It's going to be very difficult here, so the time will probably end before... No, th this is the last group battle, and... Th no, th I'm, sh I'm sure they they yeah. can do it, so it's one to one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really want to look at the... I really want to look at the profile of Basrai, who is 223 points here. He's the best player by far. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the profile. Okay, so he has uh, 93,000 cops, so, and he's been playing for 15 days. He's so not the oldest veteran, but have, has been with us for a long time. Well, he's got a decent kill, uh, kill death ratio. His kill death ratio is not actually too impressive. It's well, one. It's decent, 22. as I said. <laughs> yeah, it seems, like, it seems like actually. So probably he plays. He's solo queuing a lot, because uh, usually when you have a really big kill death ratio, it means that you play with your team and they help each other, you help each other out and you don't die as much. So it means that this guy really trains by himself, just solo queuing against normal. A long gunslinger. A long gunslinger, yeah, okay, well, well, that was great, let's, let's go back. It's butchered one, enemy one. So we have what we wanted. So at the very <laughs> least, we'll have four matches today. That's great. <laughs> None of that 3-0 horribleness. Uh, yeah. Yeesh. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, it never happens to us. Okay, so we're going to go on a small break uh, for three minutes, and there will be a giveaway going on on Twitch. So go to the Twitch chat. You will need to type in a certain command that you can learn in the Twitch chat. It will start uh, in, in a minute uh, or so. If you want to win five grenade launchers and ten customization cases, go to Twitch and chat the, uh, type the command in chat. Thanks, guys. We'll be back in only three minutes. See ya!
Okay guys, let's get back into it. I hope you enjoyed the giveaway and now we're back at SWAT versus SWAT versus Prof. It's one to one, Butcher versus Enemy and this is intense and this is the finals. If some of you who are just joining us right now, this is the finals of the EGL tournament. We already played two out of best of five games. It's one to one, so it's the most exciting type of two games that we've had. And they were really, 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 really close. I don't even know who is going to win right now. But guys are competing for a prize pool of 150 euros. Uh, the tournament is ho hosted by the European Gaming League. And we are here just excited. <laughs> well, I certainly am excited. So, uh, tell me, what do you think about the previous two matches? So, we'll soon go into the third match. But the previous two matches were very interesting. Because the first match it felt like... Bobby just carried it in many ways because he had like a, a score of 274 I think so it was like a one-man army and Prof was of course supporting him from all sides while SWAT was just not as fast at controlling the points uh, uh, on the Atrium map but they took it back with the team deathmatch mm -hmm. uh, and they took it back spectacularly because they managed to uh, they managed to uh, actually take back they managed to take back the points it was very tidal because one one team completely wiped other team <laughs> completely wiped no risks taken no solo players nothing like that so i feel like it's really two behemoths of like oh, oh, like two titan teams who are very well coordinated very well played together and they don't make any mistakes they don't want to uh, do anything stupid they don't want to take any risks they just use their skills and they work it, so it just it's one-to-one. -one. Yeah, I also have this feel like they're really calm and collected all the time, and they're really professional at this kind of stuff. Yes, it's, it's, you know, I, I remember we watched uh, Karina Glamorous uh, the other week. Oh, yeah. It was, uh, those were games full <laughs> yeah. of just craziness, just one one person going, wiping the entire team. Oh, yeah. Or if, if she failed, she would completely just... Uh, crush her own team's like chances to win. Well, she managed to pull up a triple kill. She managed to pull up a lot, but uh, in this game, when triple kills happen, they happen for a very certain reason. It's not flanking, it's not going again around the opponent's uh, team. It's all because both teams are wor working very well coordinated to just take the health of their opponents. Okay. So so yeah, and it's all very natural. You can see, you can see the title nature of the battle. It just goes like four against four. One team, all people have just half their health because they just won that skirmish, and then the <laughs> other team comes back, wipes them all, and it just goes on and on and on and on, like a circle of life. Like a circle. <laughs> That's certain. You can say that again, but please don't. <laughs> That's true. So, okay. Um, Okay, so uh, what do we have? We'll have another giveaway, just to tell you, we'll, we'll have another, another giveaway sometime later, also on Twitch. Uh, Five grenade launchers and ten customization cases. You, you sound really good saying that. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> just good. Yeah, so, uh, but our teams are using some consumables, they are not using grenade launchers and auto ram kits. Uh, during this tournament, this is the rules uh, by the European Gaming League, so when you see grenade kills and you see some when you see some consumable action happening, know that it's it, it, it's not the grenade launcher ones. So there are plain old grenades or cry grenades. grenades. Yeah. So, uh, but we can see that teams actually managed to win quite a bit. But I even I think I even saw normal grenades being thrown uh, as the killing weapon, which is very. Oh, yeah, interesting. I saw a double kill with a grenade, just a regular old grenade. Yes. You see, the the normal grenades, even on higher levels, they work in a way that you can just finish the opponents. So, which is kind of interesting. Hmm. Okay, so what do you think? Like, what do you think uh, SWAT and Prof need to do to just get get the edge here? Because we saw scores that were so close, it's like one hundred, one, uh, eleven hundred to twelve hundred, and the other one was, I think, like four hundred and fifty to five hundred. So they need some sort of edge. They need well, to use something. It's really hard to tell, you know, because uh, both teams are extremely well coordinated. But I think that. They both are a bit too cautious, maybe. Maybe too cautious, maybe too rigid. Maybe they yeah. need a risk taker somewhere. Yes, sometimes, not always, but sometimes, just to shift the balance. It seems like Bobby and Mycroft would be like perfect for the job, or maybe somebody else, but Bobby surely showed that he can uh, carry the entire team. And if the team uh, like gets him some cover fire, 
and mm -hmm. he and the, if the team you know how do you do that you, you just you, you take three players and you go as a group to meet the opponent group but you don't do it like really head on you're you're trying to confuse them a bit and why okay. somebody somebody like probably your best player should go around them and come out from the back yeah, to flank them yeah and if you're successful this can completely crush their whole, whole flow because that one person will wow. have a quadra kill or a triple kill or a killing spree soon and there's a lot of that's a lot of points and that's a lot of damage <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, that's true, but that also might backfire like hell, because if that solo player will get caught by the other team, he will die like in a few seconds. His death is not even the worst thing, because if he dies by himself, then the, the other part of the team will, it will be three versus four, and they will, if the team that caught that guy will, is competent enough, they will just crush those three people. Yeah. So, yeah, you need... Actually, I didn't see a lot of sniper action, but we weren't playing any sniper-friendly maps, because Atrium and... Uh, both Atrium and Skyscrapers are very close, like, like intimate maps, really. Well, yeah, more of a shotgun kind of map. No, shotgun assault rifle somewhere there. Okay. But it's one-to-one, -one, as you can see on the screen again. But I hope that when we go to the saloon, we will see some more... Uh, we will see some more sniper action because there are some sweet spots you can use on the saloon to just help your team keep the point if you already captured it. Yeah, sure. Uh, there are lots of nooks and crannies there to snipe people like hell. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and usually people just go... Uh, uh, usually, usually people go on the roof, people go behind the counter, and there are a lot of really good places there you can use. Uh, I also like the cinematic uh, aspect of the saloon map because it always feels like a sort of a story unraveling oh, yeah. <laughs> with a lot of interest, with a lot of just interesting uh, the environment and drawings on the walls and everything. And I just make up a story every time I play. Oh, really? Yeah. I just you know like if if I'm sitting with a if I'm sitting with an assault rifle behind the bar, I'm thinking like, well, I'm certainly drinking something right now, <laughs> and I usually miss after that. <laughs> but you, you still got get the enjoyment after I get the story. enjoyment of role-playing with guns of boom, you know? That's kind of the thing. That, that's just, unique. That's very that's unique. It's the best part. I really <laughs> hope that the teams right now... First of all, I'm sure they're using voice channels because it's it's just impossible to have this sort of coordination without good voice channel uh, connection there. I, I hope they do it in silly voices, you know? <laughs> hello, hello! I'm the first one! <laughs> I, I hope like, like I hope there's somebody there doing Batman, you know? like <laughs> Just like, <laughs> blow them up. <laughs> Something like that. Why does he want to kill me? <laughs> okay, so we're going to go into the third battle. I hope you're, I hope you're uh, hydrated and you ate because this is going to be very, this is going to be very intense. Okay, guys, we're going to the next battle. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, and it's actually Paradise Island. What a twist! Hey, you said it, it wasn't here. <laughs> it wasn't here. No, it's actually here, but. That's great for you, I yeah, guess. Yeah, it's, it's my this favorite ma map. Like, look how cynic it is. Yeah, look how much eight. murder is going on in the center. Okay, so we see that it's it's also close right now. Uh, Prof uh, Prof is winning right now. It's 93, 95 to 66. So SWAT is trying to take back the point. Oh man, I just love this battle in the center. It's very intense. It's very intense. Uh, and, and we can see that right now, because this is King of the Hill, people don't even the worry about point uh, moving as a team. They just need to worry about moving uh, as pairs. But you can see that Stop is now playing with Prof. And ah. Stop is using the Fumigator because he just regained health after killing someone. Oh, that was a nice kill, uh, triple kill and butchered when two people just killed each other like, so at Prof, the same moment. Prof has 265, 267 points. They have a 100-point lead here. Point A okay. captured. But uh, SWAT, I... SWAT is all. They are all on the point, but they are pushing for some reason. Let's look from above. Oh, the oh oh oh! There was a point double a kill by Bobby with a grenade. Nice. The enemy really nice. Point it was a triple kill too. I think he got a, got a killing spree. <laughs> Feels like this game is already going to prof. Well, it sure looks one-sided. Uh, that's what I can say. They capture the point in the center, they're protecting it fiercely. And Par Paradise Island is an interesting map though. It, it really rewards it really rewards chaotic movement because you have so many places where you can hide easily inside the houses. 
you never really want to stay as a group in the center on the central point because you will be shot down from all possible directions yeah, it's true point you captured. always have to uh, be on your toes to look everywhere and it seems like swat is really just has trouble with with uh, that in particular right now on the point other a hand is, Roth is all in the center but the swat is not moving in as a unit and they get taken out one by one one by one indeed they but should be flanking. They shouldn't be just uh, trying bar bar barging in as a whole group. I'm still Point curious, like if they will be able to gain the advantage back, because uh, right now, well, they captured the point. But uh, with how the match was going before that, I think the prof will get it back really soon. So, no, you see, it's, it's a 200 point difference, but they didn't give up the point. Well, they still have a chance, but it seems like they are pincered. Point A is under so attack. They're, Two, two SWAT players are just sandwiched between the enemy prop, captured point the four A. prop players, but they actually managed to fight back. B Bobby just butchered two people in a row. I just love that. <laughs> it's just so bus rise, I think, is the best. Point A uh, is, well, arguably the best player on the SWAT team. At least uh, that's what we've seen. Bobby obviously just dominating on the prop team with 273. Oh my god, what, what just happened The the score it all it's almost even it's almost <laughs> again it's, they are actually they're actually up ahead um I, oh my yes i i hope that they will get the advantage right now because that's what i'm rooting for actually it seems like it seems like though group of, it, it seems like group of chic uh, just disconnected and that's a really big problem oh, no. for SWAT. but medusa and bust right were the best player Oh my god, they are just go they're going to win with one player. With one player disconnecting, they still it's won. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane even though you, you have uh, did a, like a, did a better job at getting like a fair distribution of points. You can see that on the prof team, Micro uh Micro had 114 while Bobby had 280 more than anyone else, but Bustra was very close up there. Uh, and there's all, only 200 uh, points and more for the SWAT team. It really felt like they're not going to win, no matter what, because they were 250 points behind. But look at that, they actually managed to win there. <laughs> this is amazing. With one guy disconnecting at that. <laughs> you know, those previous two matches, they were not so eventful. This one... <laughs> this it one, was full of events. It compensated quite a bit. Let's, like, let's, uh, let's look... Who do we want to look at right now? I don't know, let's uh, look at Bobby. Let's look at Bobby, yes. Uh, he's he's a veteran, as you can see. Uh, also played 15 days, uh, as I think we watched the bus drive before. But has more more cups and uh, much better KD and win to lose ratio. It seems like he probably just plays with uh, with his clan all the time because, as you can see, it's impossible to get a win lose ratio like this if you don't play with the clan all the time. But still. Uh, out of those players, this is this is a very impressive KD nonetheless. He almost kills two people every time. Every time he dies, <laughs> every time he's breakfast, every time he goes to the shower, <laughs> two kills all the time. That's true. <laughs> so Space Marine and Fumigator. So he likes to play as a tank. Uh, so regaining health and getting that the sweet sweet 50% uh, invulnerability aura that I often so hate when I'm trying to land headshots with Thanatus <laughs> and it just does 2,000 damage, yeah. which is pretty annoying. It well, is. let's go back to us. Let's go back to us now. Uh, I think so, though, he, his, best score is, his best score is pretty good. It's well, 527. It's pretty great. Though, I, I think I, I saw better ones, but it's still very impressive. Uh, it's also nice that he always plays with his clans because uh, it means that he's got uh, uh, lots of training and teamwork because I bet that they uh, always stay on the voice channels and train as a unit. Yeah, they really feel, it really feels even though they have kind of uh, uh, sometimes like funny costumes like we have we have military skins uh, and some, often often uh, eSport teams they uh, want to use the soldier ones they want to use like mm -hmm. winter soldier the assassin look and stuff like that. Prof is more playful, they're like clown masks and yeah. stuff. <laughs> but and they pirates. <laughs> but they still are like, they really work as a military unit. And right now, uh, enemy got one up ahead, unbutchered, and it was, and what a victory that was. There was just, they snatched it away. They were losing. And they were losing not by a little, just 200 points on the King of the Hill map. Uh, but enemies, they just they just took it back. It, that was amazing to look at. I'm really hoping oh, Butchers yes. can. <laughs> well, I I was really excited 
to see that match. It was like just what I wanted, just what I dreamed of always. Like <laughs> you dream at night and you think like, oh my god, I hope SWAT takes it back with like a one one to one on the paradise. Exactly, and that's what I do. <laughs> yeah, it was supposed to be a little bit again as paradise. Island, yeah. Well, it was on my favorite map. <laughs> <laughs> favorite map. <laughs> my favorite teams. <laughs> favorite teams are great. Ellie, uh, also, uh, lots of impressive kills, like a double kill with a knife, double kill with a grenade. I think both by Bobby. My, Bobby. My, both, but Bobby is just killing it this time around. He's like superhuman in many ways. Well, he is. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Like Bobby is usually quite a strong player, and here you can see, like, well, you can see that it's 280. He's still the best player on the entire map, but just having the best ace doesn't always mean you're going to win. Well, sure. An enemy just, you know, like, having, like, stronger teammates, having stronger team play, just very, very reliable team play, is actually a lot better than having a very strong ace. That's, like, in my opinion, my honest opinion, just... That's well, yeah, I, I totally agree with you, because uh, sometimes ace may, may be... Uh, uh, not so balancing to the other team members. Maybe if they're less trained, for example, and you, just one player cannot always carry the whole team. It's interesting even though, but why, like, SWAT was moving as a unit and they were losing almost every encounter in the center. But I don't understand how exactly they managed to start winning those last matches because they were still moving as a team but they started to go like to the side started to go into the mm. houses and somehow somehow usually it doesn't work that well moving as a team there but it actually worked for them there I, i'm not i don't understand what happened really also they lost a player like uh, near the end of the match but still uh it was very it was a, it was a very close battle and i thought for sure that the vet comeback would just get squashed when they lost that yeah. lost that fourth fourth player. I kind of missed the moment when they like broke the tie between the teams when they made the comeback. I think. Do you King remember when it was? King of the Hill is very King of the Hill in a way is a very chaotic type of mode uh -huh. because it, it it forces you it forces you to always go for the point because you always have to weigh uh, weigh the, the scales of the advantages and disadvantages. Either you go by yourself to the point, but you might get a lot of points by yourself if everybody is dead. Hmm. Everybody is just will be dead when you get there. You can take back the point. You can win the game for your. Uh, you can win the game for your team. But the other reason is, well, let's get back to it later. There's, a, there's <laughs> actually a battle going on right now. Okay, I'll finish that thought. We're starting another team death match. Oh, nice. Watching Loopy Lou again. So, it's 0-0, zero, zero. Prof is moving all together, you can see that Microbe is uh, working as a sniper, you can and see so Bobby is staying behind. You, he just made a first blood, double kill, and a headshot. I really want to look <laughs> at how Bobby plays, because it seems like I have a lot to learn from him. He just stays behind and he goes for headshots with an assault rifle. Seems, seems like that uh, gives him the amount of kills uh, that, that he gets usually. So what is uh, happening there? Well, I think... Let's look from above. Let's yeah, look from above. I, I, I don't really understand what's see. happening. Okay, so, uh, it seems like SWAT uh, just uh, managed to take away some of, some, of the prof, uh, some of the prof players and get away with it, but prof actually found them and punished them for that. Well, prof is uh, actually leading in this match right now. The uh, difference is not that huge. It's only thirty points. Oh, see, you do, so uh, oh, I just jinxed them. <laughs> Theo just did a triple kill just because you said that, and she also butchered someone, which uh, is always nice. So we're working, we're watching stop right now. Let's see if he can. Let's see what he does here. Okay. Some personal story. So he meets up with group of sheep, and then he dies. Then he <laughs> dies. Yes. Oh, well, managed to do a lot of damage there. It's <laughs> not, so it's another double kill. Okay, let's go back up. Let's go back up. It's, it's a little bit too crowded here. Okay, so we see that SWAT is not exactly moving all four players together. They are trying out uh, some pairs. But Prof is all, also spread around um, on, the, on the map. They just split up. Uh, they shouldn't have done that. Uh, they were just massacred because uh, they split Ooh. up and half of the team went to the center and the other half just... Yeah, Bobby even got a killing spree. You see Prof is, is spreading out, but they're actually just staying in a sort of a line formation. But SWAT just 
uh, just uh, broke in the middle and went two different ways. And as, of course, of course, in that situation, Prof could pick them off quite easily. Okay, so can't quite see what's going on here. Okay, so we, we can see there's three people, three people going up against uh, a, a group. All right. So uh, let's go back up. Th this map seems to be like really difficult to watch uh, from third person. It's hard to understand what's happening. There's a lot of corners. Prof is actually winning, and this is a good thing because if Prof wins okay. this, we will have five we will, matches. We will have the best match, oh, and that's yes. the two to two match. That's oh like yes, the most perfect <laughs> one. So it's Team Deathmatch and uh, Bustry, who was the best player uh, on most of the matches for SWAT, is not doing so great here. And Bobby doesn't have that much of a lead on stop, for example. And is actually even behind the best player on the SWAT team. And the score is again very, very close. There's two minutes left. I feel like I feel like this one will be can go to can go to SWAT too. I really don't want it to go to SWAT. I really want to have a fifth match. Well, I do too, but let's see how it uh, how it ends. So there's a fight in the center, a double kill by Lupalu. Nice job. Uh, okay. And so he'll the enemy, who's also, kind, I'd say, kind of an ace. Oh, that's very, that's very bad for Loopy Lou. She just, she just went one against two. Bobby is in a duel, who is surprisingly losing. Well, he's still alive. Oh, not anymore. He's not alive anymore. <laughs> I just jinx everyone. Uh, uh, yeah, don't say that. We don't want. We don't. I, I really don't want like actually SWAT to win because I want the epic battle. So stop jinx, jinxing, Prof. Okay, <laughs> so let's say <laughs> SWAT is still alive right now. SWAT is still alive. They're doing great. <laughs> They're oh, doing yeah. great. Everything is amazing for them. And ah, oh, uh, well, that was that was an amazing play, though. That was an amazing game. But I feel so bad because it's three to one. <laughs> Well, it That's still was very great. Like, you know, I really loved the intensity of this match. As usual, I had no idea who would win. Actually, look, like Bobby and Prav, they actually did the, the, the other thing. They had, like, more, uh, like, a well-distributed points, just nobody being, uh -huh. like, uh, just if ahead of the entire team. So maybe they tried to work more as a group. Maybe they tried to work more as a group, maybe it didn't work for them, maybe Bobby should have just went solo and <laughs> destroyed everyone. Yeah, went just like Rambo on everyone, <laughs> just like shooting two assault rifles at the same time. But it's like, it's very close, all of those matches are very, very close. And that's like the best type of, that's the best type of the finals for a Boom Series Cup that can be. So the prize goes, uh, the prize goes to SWAT, SWAT, uh, SWAT enemy, uh, is the best team today. Uh, this is the best team today. Uh, and let's go back to us. Let's go back to us for a second. Just for a second. Just for a, <laughs> just for a second. <laughs> and guys, uh, guys, thank you very much for joining us today. There will be another giveaway going on uh, in the Twitch chat. If you're not on Twitch, go to Twitch. Please follow us on Twitch. We're going to do more tournaments. We're going to cast more, but more battles. And we hope we'll see more like more uh, it, it, like the most impressive battles ever this was very good this was very professional maybe didn't go to the epic fifth match that i really wanted wow. it to <laughs> well i feel like butcher could have won could have won like uh, and they it could really go to anyone in that point well yeah but i still really enjoyed this match because and the whole like boom tournament uh, boom series cup tonight because it was uh, really intense Teams were constantly going toe to toe, and I also had no idea who's gonna win. Yeah, so uh, you know the the tactics. There is no like universal tactic for all guns of boom matches and all guns of boom maps, uh, because in, in this case the execution played the crucial role. Because uh, they had uh, so what uh, what would win like an ace uh, supported by a team or a team staying together, all working as like. Uh, all around like specialists like uh, jacks of all trades and it feels like SWAT was more of a uh, more of a team uh, uh, focused uh, kind of team and maybe Prof was mo is more about like really strong uh, solo players that get the mm -hmm. incredible triple kills double kills if you remember they had the most I think yeah I think so like most of the time I saw double kills Double grenade kills, double butchers. It yeah, was Bobby. It, it was all from Prof. Like it's funny because like I feel like because they're butchered, like it's Prof <laughs> butcher. They really like to have those spectacular kills, and it's really their style and it suits them. But it turns out that just like well coordinated, 
a Ukrainian team uh, turned out to be better today against this sort of like more spectacular, more scenic kind of play. But, but, but I am actually, I'm, I'm really, I'm really satisfied with today's match. Yeah, me as well. I really enjoyed. Yes. <laughs> It feels good, man. It feels good. It does. I, I hope I see I see a rematch. I hope I see a rematch like of the strongest butchered versus the strongest enemy. Like if they consolidate in one team their best players, they will be called butchered enemy. <laughs> no, I don't mean like them both. I mean like we had two teams of butchered and two teams of enemy. Uh, anyway, oh, guys, yeah. just tell us what you think. Who did you thought would win? Who did you want to win? How are you feeling about this whole thing? Go to Twitch. Follow us there, uh, and you'll see more tournaments like this, and we hope that they will be even better and bigger and more awesome. Thank you guys, and bye! See ya! Almost, right? So it was Reva Cat and Stannis. Bye again! <laughs>